I'm Nicki Minaj, a.k.a. Roman, a.k.a. Martha. She's Nicki Minaj, and guess what? I'm Trevor Nelson. <laughs> what accent was that? I don't know. It was sort of Trinidad, America. No, it was nothing. You was made that nothing? up. Did. What, what was yours? No, well, I, what was British. yours? British. Hello. I'm, I'm what? We don't say hello. I said British. I said British. That's actually. better. That's better. Better. A little bit better. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you. It's Nikki. Before I came to you, I said to myself, what can I ask Nikki that everyone hasn't asked her? God bless you. All right? Yeah. So I'm going to try and, and see if I can make this correct. Male rappers mm-hmm. have always traditionally had five or six other rappers at the top of their game at the same time. If I say Biggie, you get Tupac, you get Nas, you get, yeah? And that's what normally pushes them to keep on going. Jay-Z probably wouldn't be still relevant today if he didn't have all these guys constantly making sure he's on point. You, on the other hand, have had a hit album already. You're on your own. You're blazing a trail on your own. That, to me, although a lot of people think, oh, she's in a great place, to me, that's more pressure because there is no one else to kind of nudge you or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's almost like if you're not careful, you could get comfortable. And that's... Possibly. That's death. Like, I feel, I always say, like, once you start getting complacent, that's not good. And so I understand what you're saying. No one's ever said that to me before. But, yeah, I totally get it how these guys, um, that whole competitive spirit fuels them and it makes them go even harder. Um, you know, I I just compete against myself. I want to outdo myself. Is that going to be easy? You think... <clears throat> I think I think it's going to be easy. I definitely think it's going to be easy because I I don't think I've I've done anything as of right now that I feel has been like my best work. And so whether it's I'm talking about whether it's my shoes or my you might hear or my uh records, I always can look back at it and still find room for improvement. So I think it will be easy for me to do it. I one thing that you said that made me laugh on some talk show was that I'm married to Benjamin Franklin. I love that line. I love that line. Yeah. Hey, when, when anyone asks you about sex or loves, or I'm married to Benjamin Franklin. Yep. So I thought, when I see Nikki, I'm going to ask her this question. What? Fame and adulation, legacy, or the Benjamins? Which one is the highest priority? Right now, the second. Right now, the second is the Benjamins. I think later on, it will be legacy. Because... You know, that's very honest. Yeah, I think right now you got a paper chase. I think paper chasing makes you step your game up. So I think, um, in essence, it winds it winds up creating a, an insane legacy, like a better legacy. You know what I mean? But if you feel like, oh, I don't, I'm not, I'm not concerned with money. I don't need any money. Then I think you don't go as hard. But I have to constantly remind myself that. You know, I want to be a certain place financially in life one day. And so I can't stop. I can't get comfortable. I can't take a break, a vacation. None of that. You've had the work ethic proven already with the, much, the amount of work you've put in um, on other tracks and obviously this album. But, you know, when you talk about the money, we are the only genre that openly talks about money. Right. Hip hop. Right. You notice? Right. Um yeah, you never hear like Taylor Swift talking about how much she gets for a show. And she gets a lot. <laughs> right. Right. So why is that? I mean, every, you know, we know they're making a whole load of money, yeah. but they always come under the guise of they don't mention money. They don't like to talk about money, but we have no problem talking about money. I just think that's a part of black culture. It's like when you've come from nothing, you want to, you know, it's the same reason why we wear jewelry and, you know, we... We always wore the biggest jewelry and the bamboo earrings, and now we're diamonds and we're cars and we're, you know, we want to sort of um, show that we are successful, I think. And it just happens to be, you know, the way we do it. And I, it's just so competitive. When you're rapping, it's like, you, it's like you're just throwing darts at people over and over, you know. And so what is a way to throw a dart at someone? I make more money than you. You know, it's it's weird. But, I mean, I certainly don't think that it's something that needs to be spoken about. Um, I think on a mixtape level, on just like a, you know, everybody freestyling level, I think it is hot. I think it's dope, and I don't think we should ever 
you know, move too far from it because it's a part of our culture.